I just bought the rustiest 64 Impala wagon on the internet. So this is a 1964 Impala six passenger wagon. It's got some missing parts. It's also really rusty, as you can see right here. You can see there's actually large holes in the firewall, which is kind of a bummer. Wiring harness is missing. Obviously the whole front end is off. We got a rot hole here, door panel. Not great. The inside was full of things. You can see I have half a trash barrel full of leaves that I pulled out of the interior and there's still a ton in here. I'd open the door, but it's got shaved door handles. All right, you gotta open it from the inside. So you can see there's a taped together seat. This thing folds down, pretty crusty. You can see the headliner is falling. Uh, it is an automatic on the column car. It was originally a V8 car, but that is long gone. Two-speed power glide. Again, shaved door handle. It does have an Edelbrock sticker. So at some point it was ready to party. We got a mouse nest in the uh, glove box. We've got rotted rockers. This is where the spare tire goes, I think. And you can see it's pretty much a giant mouse nest. Uh, the tailgate is not attached at the moment. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I know that these seem to be like broken off or something. And I'm not really sure what this plate does. In here, we got a bunch of stuff. Looks like a door hinge, some spare tire parts, which is awesome. This looks like the hold down for the spare tire, which is probably a, I would assume it's a pretty rare thing. This looks like a horn button trim ring. Some kind of plate thing. Absolutely massive funnel. Wait, does this whole thing lift up? Oh, the whole thing lifts up. Okay, we're gonna lift that up. Okay, this is so much more awesome than I even realized. This whole, this whole trunk thing, the whole floor flips up in two different panels. And now I have a better view into what I'm working with here. Looks like the pan itself might actually still be there. Although there's some good sized rod holes kind of all around the edges. Probably where body mounts are. That's usually what happens. Not sure what this is. Doesn't smell good. That's, that's nice. The dome light, that's probably pretty sweet. Got the side view mirror. Oh, free tools. We got some needle nose. Oh, these look like fancy needle nose. Woo, hose clamp. That's good. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Maybe some wire cutters? That looks like a battery hold down bolt. I don't know if it is or not, but that's what it looks like. The trunk floor is now vacuumed. You can see it's like wet with probably oil or brake fluid or something. But interestingly, it's actually not totally rotted out. There's, there's definitely a few pieces or a few sections that are rough, like right there. It looks like it's dented up and then also rotted. Back there's a little rot hole around where uh, the drain is. Um, but then along these edges here are pretty rotted as well, which is kind of a bummer. I think that's where the frame rail is. And I know that the frame rail is in terrible shape back here on both sides. So I'm guessing that the frame rail is rotted on both sides and it is also rotted all along these seams on both sides. We've got a couple of uh, interesting finds. So here's the spare tire well. You can see not a lot of metal down there. This thing was actually, it was probably like five inches deep of like mud, mud and mouse nest. And I found this, which I believe was the bottom of the floor made out of Bondo and tarp, I think. I think somebody used a tarp and like taped it in place and then Bondoed over it, which pretty crafty, not bad. All right, let's take a dive in and see if we can find some floor pans, all right? Nope. Oh no, that's uh, that's the back seat. Nope. 
Oh no, definitely not. Nope. 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 So the obvious question is, what am I gonna do with this thing? And the answer is, I'm gonna fix it up. Cause why wouldn't I? It's a 64 Impala wagon. Um, so that means that I'm gonna have to pull the body off. Uh, I'll have to replace the doors, of course, with the, with the more solid ones. Probably fix the frame. Likely replace all of the floors from front to back. That means fabricating all of the ones from the back seat rearward and probably buying replacement floors from the firewall to the back seat because they're actually available. So if you are interested in this build, uh, I would love to document more of it. So if it's something you're willing to watch, I will keep making videos. I will definitely document each step of it so that you can follow along, see how it's done. And yeah, I think it'll be a really fun build to do. And hopefully, you know, we'll do this together. We'll get through it, we'll fix it up, and we'll put another cool old Impala on the road. So follow along, leave me a comment, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.